Today New Zealand is home to some 6,000 Poles and people of Polish descent. This vibrant Polish diaspora has roots in an event that took place 70 years ago when over 700 Polish orphan children and their caregivers arrived on these shores after enduring much hardship in Siberia. It is estimated that over a million Poles were forcibly removed from their homes at the beginning of the Second World War by the Soviet Union and sent to Siberia where many of them perished. The Polish government in exile with the help of the International Red Cross organized orphanages and refugee camps in Persia. New Zealand was one of a few countries who offered sanctuary to the people and it is thanks to the work of Prime Minister Peter Fraser and his wife Janet and former Polish Consul General Kazimierz Wodzicki and his wife Maria that the children and their caregivers were invited to New Zealand. It was here in Wellington where on the 1st November 1944 a group of 733 Polish orphan children and their 105 caregivers arrived. 70 years later, they, their families and friends have come together to commemorate their arrival. Today we are um, gathering together and travelling on the buses to Pakatua reenact our arrival when we first came here in 19, uh, 1944. Because Pakatua was our first home, wasn't it? Just on the ground, so anywhere. 70 years since we arrived here, so it's quite a long time. We got uh, just under 200 people going. It's uh, important because it's a part of uh, our history, part of uh, New Zealand history. And we appreciate that uh, what the New Zealand uh, has done for us. I think that New Zealand was our survival, don't you think? Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Reminds us of the day when we arrived in New Zealand. We were all worried what was going to happen, where were we going? People meeting us on the, on the railway stations, we went along with lollies and uh, ice creams, but um, we were not accustomed to uh, that uh, kind of treatment that we received here in New Zealand. So we thought that we were try they're trying to bribe us here to make, to, to, you know, to uh, make it look as it's a beautiful and wonderful country, which it was. And the generosity that people showed us when we first arrived was unbelievable. That's where the camp used to be, just over here. The camp is not there anymore, of course. Good old times here. We roamed those hills, picked the mushrooms, and uh, there used to be a farm, chicken farm here, very close by. And we used to go and, and um, help them to look after the chickens. And uh, for that, he used to give us um, some um, wheat to feed our pigeons that we kept in Pagatua camp. Uh, great memories. We feel like we are on our way home. I mean, trucks, the, the way they, um, they brought us into Hakatua camp from the railway stations. Yeah. How are you? Good, good, yeah. yeah, that's him, yeah that's him, yeah. This gentleman was with me all the way from uh, Persia again. Yeah. Yeah. We work together, we used to scrap cut together, yeah. we used to work on the farms together. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, good old days. That's the children. <laughs>
we've got an AMI escort. Oh, my. Look, I've got pegs. Take a pegs. Oh, look at this. On both sides. Oh, my. Look at this. Look at crying when we arrived, but I'm crying now, thanking them for, for all the love and care that they gave us. The welcome to, to embracing us into their hearts. Uh, <laughs> what a reception. <laughs> He's the mayor of Tenuro. We thought we were just coming in for a little visit, and this is what we receive. Oh, oh Unbelievable. <laughs> Hello. Hello, nice guy. Thank you very much for working us. It's a beautiful, beautiful day and a beautiful occasion. We are indeed. <laughs> Hi, Louise. Thank you very much for a beautiful welcome. Hello, Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for a wonderful welcome. You reckon you haven't grown much, neither have I. No, you haven't known. No. <laughs> and this lady arrived all the way from, from Norway. For today? Yes. For today. For today. Yes, she came all the way from America, but I still, my heart is in New Zealand, even if I'm in San Francisco. <laughs> Look at all the Polish flags, great. Oh, I wonder if there are five that many people. We've got schools here from yeah. as far away as Alfreton, who are about 35 kilometres away, oh, really? and the children there have done some studies about the Polish yeah, yeah. people. They've been learning about the Polish children over the last few weeks, and they've got a lot of um, stones and artwork on display as well in the town hall, so they're very excited about being part of this. Today is an opportunity to join together in remembrance and to celebrate the relationships that have formed over the past 70 years. As a seven-year-old, I was at the Paitua railway station with my family to welcome the Polish refugees 70 years ago. And people say, can you remember? I can vividly remember the trains pulling up at the platform and the children and their helpers disembarking. Um, I remember how brown the children were. They were tanned probably from Iran and the sea voyage through the, through the tropics. How much khaki clothing it was and how shaven the boys' heads were. Such a lot of them from kindergarten age up. And after the speeches of welcome, they sang their national anthem and a Polish song that went I don't know, don't know. <laughs> and then the English song, You Are My Sunshine. <laughs> then they were helped onto the huge convoy of army trucks taking them to the Polish children's camp just south of Bahiatur. That occasion made a huge impression on me, even though I did not know half the story of what brought them here to Bahiatur or what they had been through between 1939 and 1944. It is a story about a boatload of homeless refugee children who had been shunted from one country to another for over four and a half years with 
uncertain future. Then suddenly it changed when we arrived at Pahiatua, New Zealand. Unbelievable, even more meaningful than before. The children, schools, people of Payatua showed us welcome that we never expected. We are really grateful to New Zealand that uh, 70 years ago, New Zealand received those children who became Polish New Zealanders, who built up the common history for Poland and New Zealand, for common friendship. We, we all greet one another as brothers and sisters. Pachatua was the first place that really and truly received us here with all the love that they could master. Whereas before we went from one place to another not knowing what will happen next. I think when I was an intermediate, I did a heritage story and so I learned all about this one and a bit about my grandfather. Didn't really want to talk about it, but yeah, lots of We didn't really stories. want to talk about it because yeah. it's very, very emotional what we went through. And um, it still is <laughs> emotional. <laughs> the country's been great for us and, and we've been very, very happy with it. And the amazing welcome in uh, Pahiatua. We will never forget that, never. I was so moved. I laughed, I cried, I sang with the children. I even started to do the haka with the children. It was a fantastic reception to the Polish children of Pahiatua.
It has been a privilege and an honour to be part of a team that has put on these events. Delight at seeing old faces, laughter and joy reminiscing over days gone by, sadness for those who never made it here today, and pride for what those 733 Polish children and their caregivers achieved building new lives in this country that so gratefully received them. For me, taking the trip back to Pakiatua along with my family and the Pakiatua children last Thursday provided real evidence that your story is an important one shared. There are 733 separate stories, each one with unique circumstances that makes every one of them worth telling. We remember that our friends from New Zealand welcome Polish children with hospitality and warm hearts. As we often say, these events lay foundations for our special ties between the nations and Poland is grateful for this extraordinary gesture of friendship.